All right, I'm sure when I said coming up after the break, we'll tell you how you can furnish an entire home for $1,000. You probably went, yeah, right. Well, <laughs> my next guest has helped one of her clients do just that. I'm joined by Sue Pitchforth. Uh, she's a home styler and virtual consultant and owner of Decor Therapy Plus. Welcome, Sue. Great to have Thanks. you here. And this is this is really interesting, Sue, because I think, I think a lot of people probably had that immediate reaction like, oh, I'm sure. Um, yep. Let's talk about Chris's story. She sure. moved to, to PEI under, uh, of course, difficult circumstances mm -hmm. having having lost her husband but tell me how the two of you you connected yeah so uh, in Durham region we, she was my client and we had a really great relationship and unfortunately her husband passed away and after that uh, she wanted to spend a little more time uh, in PEI because that's where she's from okay. and it just sort of transpired that one day she called me and she goes are you sitting down and I go <laughs> yes and she goes well I bought a five-bedroom house I go you're one person. She goes, I know, it's, it's a beauty. And she says, and I have no furniture. Right. Because where she was living, it was furnished. So basically, she had a TV, a computer, and a desk. That's it. So um, just like what you were saying that the viewers were probably thinking when they heard the title of our segment, she said to me, and you can virtually help me furnish my house for a thousand bucks that's my budget okay. and I'm like yeah right <laughs> <laughs> but you managed to do that so we, um, we have pictures sort of room by room yeah. Wh which room would you like to start with uh, we can start with uh, the guest room All right. if you like okay. um, it it's really funny because after we had after I had that initial shock we actually made a plan and you'll see here this is one of the guest rooms um, and everything in here was five dollars ten dollars two dollars or it was free right. and it was just it was like a, it was a virtual treasure hunt and and I think I know her house better than she does. <laughs> and it must have been fun. So what what resources did you use to to find these furnishings? Um, so Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Um, she goes shopping uh, along with me on her phone, holding the camera up. You know, yard sales, garage sales, uh, Valley Village. Uh, Really, anywhere, secondhand stores. Uh, it was amazing how much free stuff she got as well. All right, so we looked yeah. at um, some of the guest rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, what other room do you want to focus on? I was going to look at the family room. All right, let's have um, a look at the uh, family room. Tell me about, yeah. you know, what was, what, so what, 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 what is her style? How would you describe her style? <laughs> well, she had none. That's okay. why she needed okay. me, <laughs> even at the old house. Yeah. And uh, she wouldn't mind me saying that. Uh, she didn't know. So okay. I think that was part of the journey where, you know, she'd be at a yard sale or she'd be on Facebook Marketplace and she'd send me photos of things and she'd say, do I like this with a question mark. Interesting. And so I, how did you how did you figure out what her style was? I just kept then? asking her, what, okay. do you like it? Right. Oh, I see. So you and, just came up, yeah. you, you came up with a, sort of an idea in your head of what she might like mm -hmm. and then just kept sending her things. And again, yeah, so, I mean, under $1,000, you're probably getting some of this stuff for 20 bucks, right? Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. And this actually is a picture of the living room in progress. Okay. And uh, it's amazing. And I have to say the deals out in PEI are fabulous. Well, even this house, you told oh, me the price the of the house, house and yeah. I, I was floored for a five yeah, bedroom house, absolutely. right? It, um, um, it's crazy. That's for sure. Here's something really neat, too. I, you're you're going to be at the Ottawa Home and Remodeling mm. Show. Yes. I know you're doing three presentations, but your third presentation on the Saturday at 4 p.m., you're actually getting Chris on the show with you on we stage, are. right? We're at, we virtually. Are. We're going to virtually Zoom her in okay. uh, so the audience can actually see the rooms and you know ask questions of her. They can actually hear the story and her journey because I think her journey is very similar. We can all relate, you mm -hmm. know, perhaps not the passing of, a, of a, a spouse, but, you know, really the question of, do you know your style? How much budget do you have? And how do you pull together a room or a house that looks like you and that looks great and that's comfortable and warm without spending a lot of money? Right. Uh, one of her initial phone calls with me was, um, if I have to sit here for five years listening to my echo before I can afford anything, mm. that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. And it's just been a year, and we're pretty much done. But okay. now we'll be working on the basement and then outside. And she said, if you asked me a year ago, I would have said, you're crazy that I have this gorgeous house. And I just talked to her before I came on, and she's like, you know I do this 
every night. Before she goes to sleep, she visits every single room, and she just looks and she says, I can't believe it's my house. Really, eh? She, was, her, she has a bedroom that's her dressing room. Well, yeah, and here, here we is. have a look. I mean, and, this is And I'm telling you guys, fantastic. like, you know, five bucks a unit, ten bucks. The, the rug was five dollars. The chair was free. Like, look how wonderful it is. And this is the, another view of the dressing room. Um, you know, and she's like, you know, Hollywood stars don't have as nice dressing room that I have. <laughs> nice, I love that. Well, and I love the fact that she, you know, told you how she does that on a nightly basis, because mm -hmm. I don't think many of us take the time to appreciate the spaces that we've created for ourselves. We sort of walk through, and it dawned on me the other day, because I walked by my favorite painting mm -hmm. at my house, and it's, I mean, it's huge. It's a giant painting, and I realized, I don't think I've looked at that painting oh, for about a week. really? You know what I mean? Because wow. I guess it just becomes, and... Yeah. Maybe that's some advice to give to, to people out there is look around your home and, and see if you have a great appreciation. And if you don't, maybe change things up and talk to somebody like you. Oh, absolutely. And and for me, that's my that's my passion in life is to yeah. help people like her to love their pieces or love their home. You know, I always say when you walk into your home, I want you to be happy to be there, mm -hmm. to love that piece of art or to love that room. This is what, the and relaxing room, the sort is, of lounge this room? This is the, the relaxing room. Okay, okay. <laughs> but as you can see, I mean, her style is very simple. Uh, not a lot of tchotchkes and a lot of color. She really wanted it to be very, very serene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let's remind people, you you are going to be at yes. the uh, Ottawa Home and Remodeling Show. It's at the EY Centre. It kicks off Thursday, Thursday. correct? Yes. Um, you yeah. were there at what time, Sue? So Thursday I'm there from 5 till 6. Okay. Friday, 1.30 to 2.30. And then Saturday's the big uh, 4 o'clock uh, performance <laughs> with, with Chris. I think I'll just sit back for that one. I'll let her handle <laughs> let it. Let her do most of the work and then and do a bit of a tour yeah. and again there's so many things going on at, at that show and people can oh, learn absolutely. so much uh, yeah. from yourself and from uh, from all the other mm -hmm. experts Th thanks so much for joining us Sue thanks, really Sarah. appreciate it Thank we'll you. be back with more daytime Ottawa right after this don't go anywhere